welcome to Storytime. I'm Flyleaf the Book Fairy, your friendly neighborhood storybook fairy, and today I'm sitting in a beautiful garden at the Highlands Mansion. Can you see the castle that's behind me? So, I have some questions. Who likes books? Who likes dragons? Well, you are going to love today's story because it's a book about a dragon who loves books. It's Duncan the Story Dragon by Amanda Driscoll. Are you ready? Duncan the Story Dragon. Duncan the Dragon loved to read. I love to read. When Duncan read a book, the story came to life. And his imagination caught fire. Oh, um, I, unfortunately, uh, so did his book. Um, I just want to finish a book, said Duncan. I need to know what happens. Do the pirates find the treasure? Does the captain save the ship? Do aliens conquer the earth? And I want to read those two wonderful words like the last sip of a chocolate milkshake. The end. Duncan tried everything to keep his cool. Really, truly, everything. I have an idea, said Duncan. I will find a friend to read to me. So Duncan searched a nearby neighborhood. Hello, friend, he said to the raccoon. Would you please help me read this book? Whoop! Duncan explored an evergreen forest. Hello, friend, he said to a possum. Could you please read me this book? What do you think is going to happen? Duncan traveled to a faraway farm. Hello, Fred, he said to the bull. Will you please read me this book? Oh no, I think I see where this is going. Youch! No. After searching the entire countryside, Duncan trudged back to his cottage. As he hugged his book, a pet here trickled down Duncan's cheek. It landed with a plop and dribble drabbled across the floor and then ran split splat into a mouse. Sad ending? Asked the mouse. I'll never know, said Duncan. As Duncan explained his problem, he noticed a twinkle in the mouse's eye. Do you like books? Duncan asked. I love books, said the mouse. Would you, could you, will you please read me this book? Certainly, said the mouse. So the mouse read to Duncan, carefully. Together they battled sea monsters, dodged icebergs, and discovered new lands. They took breaks for roasted hot dogs and toasted marshmallows. Finally, the friends sailed home. Then the mouse read those two wonderful words, like the last sip of a chocolate milkshake. The end. But actually, it was only the beginning. Uh, oh, oops. Uh, sorry about your book. Well, must have been a good book. The end. I think it was a good book. Do you think it was a good book? I hope you did. And I'll see you next time for another story, friends. Goodbye. <laughs>